previously on Balls. We haven't had Chef Simon in studio with us for a while. Last time you were in here, we t- were talking about hearty winter meals. I think it was a roast lamb, or you spoke yes, to Nicole yeah. about something as well. Um, yeah, that was about a feast we were doing, but uh, yeah, we were doing a stuffed leg lamb. Stuffed leg lamb. But now I thought, let's bring Simon in. Let's get a nice summer recipe going. And... Um, my suggestion was to do a man salad because often guys think that salads are for girls, but people also want to be healthy. So let's make a salad that everyone can enjoy and that's a nice healthy maybe Sunday lunch or midweek dinner, something like that. Yes, yeah, no, this is uh, it's a filling salad. So, I mean, it's not just served as a side. You can serve it as a meal. Um, and also coming into summer, like you say, something lighter, healthier. Um, yeah, it's will go down well. Okay, so now I know your salads at your restaurant are really good, so I'm trusting you on this. Tell us what we need in our salad. Okay, um, well, I thought as a man salad, um, <laughs> uh, you need a bit of meat in there, so I thought of maybe like a, a beef fillet. So we're going to chargrill re- a beef fillet. You can do it on the bry or, or inside, just do it on a griddle pan. Chargrill, you mean you just like kind of ch ch on the side? On the um, yeah, side. well, you're gonna, it's going to be on a high heat, so you're going to get that charring on the outside, a little bit of black. But what we're going to do is we're going to marinate it overnight. Okay. Um, I've got a marinade of yogurt, um, mayonnaise, um, whole grain mustard, and honey. Okay, that's quite easy. Let's say that again. Yogurt, yogurt, ma- mayo, mayonnaise, mustard. just a just a tangy mayonnaise you can buy from any supermarkets, and then um, a whole grain mustard, whole grain mustard, and honey. Okay, um, so you soak it in that marinade before you. Yeah, try overnight it. we're going to soak it overnight. So mix that marinade together, put it in a roasting pan, stick it in the fridge, and overnight just let it soak soak in that. Um, okay. The yogurt will help also tenderize the meat. Although fillet is soft already, you're going to get get it a lot more tender and still melt in your mouth okay so it's it's soaked overnight and then and then okay the next day when you're ready to cook it if your bra's on or whatever you're doing if you're cooking inside um get the pan really hot um take the meat out allow it to get to room temperature um and then get your pan really hot okay um take it out the marinade you're going to scoop off there's going to be quite a bit of like the marinade is thick so you just with your fingers scrape off the marinade so you don't have loads of it on um because it will burn quite quickly Okay. okay, if you're doing it in a pan, olive oil, and then into the pan, um, about six to eight minutes on each side. Oh, I love the detail because for someone like me that's never really cooked before, I need to know that the marinade must come off and I need to know exact times. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, uh, <laughs> so that's good. It, it is scary doing a fillet, but it's, uh, it's Yeah, because very it's easy, not yes. cheap and if you ruin it, you're, <laughs> you're going to be miserable. <laughs> don't, uh, don't be scared to do it. About six to eight minutes on each side, you can turn it once or twice. Um, on the braai, I'll give it a little bit longer, eight to ten minutes. Um, then you're going to take it off the braai um, or off the pan and just allow it to rest, allow it to cool down again, get back down to room temperature. Okay. Um, what's going to happen while you're resting it, all the juices, all the flavors are going to soak back into the meat. Um, whereas if you cut it straight away, it would uh, lose a lot of its juices. Mm. So all the flavors are going to soak back into the meat. You're going to allow that to sit on the side. Um, okay. And while that's resting, you can. It's a very quick salad to make. You're gonna make a little bit of a salsa, tomato and balsamic salsa. Ooh. Um, slice a whole lot of rosa tomatoes. I've got the quantities in the recipe, which which yeah, well uh, I'll, find I'll give that to you. Um, but uh, rosa tomato sliced diagonally. You're trying to create a sort of like a salsa, so you don't want too big a chunks yeah, of like tomato. Little, little um, into like little rings, I'd say three rings out of a little rosa tomato. Okay. Um, three or four rings, and that into a bowl. Then finally slice a uh, red onion. That's going to go into the bowl with the with the tomatoes. Okay. One teaspoon of garlic, and then a red chili de-seeded. So you're going to slice it down the middle, scrape the the seeds out. And then just not use the seeds. Not use the seeds. Yeah, okay. You just want a light bite to it. Um, you don't want it burning your mouth off. But uh, yeah, you just want that light little kick. Um, <laughs> so that's so in your salsa, you've got tomatoes, red onion, garlic, and chili. And a chili, one red chili, yeah. Um, de seeded, and then chop that, put that in there, and then into that you're going to put uh, equal amounts as well of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and then balsamic glaze. So you can Ooh, buy a reduction that. from your from your supermarket or you can make it yourself. Sugar and balsamic, reduce no, it. No, let's, let's go with the buying option. <laughs> 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 let's not get too technical. Um, okay, so everyone new generally has it in their cupboard, so you can you just squeeze it in there. Okay, so this is for the salsa. We've got tomatoes, red onion, garlic, red chili de-seeded, and equal amounts of olive oil and balsamic. Yeah, okay. that's it. Okay, so now you're going to put that aside. Just allow the tomatoes to soak up 
juices for about five minutes, ten minutes. While you're doing that, you're going to make the base of your salad, which is chickpeas. Um, buy them in a tin, drain them, and rinse them. They're quite underrated. I really like chickpeas, I really but like I often too, forget yeah. to buy them. Yeah, those pulses are very nice. The so chickpea is also high in protein, so going with man salad, it, uh, <laughs> it's definitely up there. Okay. Um, a very high protein salad with the fillet and the chickpeas. Um, so you're going to drain those off um, into a bowl as well, a mixing bowl. Uh, you're going to put some herb leaves, so go with whatever you've got in your garden or whatever you can get. So <laughs> if you've or got whatever Willie <laughs> sells. <laughs> okay. Um, what, what I recommend is basil, mint, and coriander. Okay, and um, that comes in a nicely mixed bag at Woolies. <laughs> <laughs> Easier for you. Yeah. Okay, so that was um, basil, mint, and coriander. Coriander, yeah, yeah. just equal amounts of that. Um, add a nice, nice flavor to the salad, and then wild rocket adds a nice peppery flavor to the salad. Okay. Um, it's also, I find it, the leaves are a lot more tender than big rocket leaf. They tend to be quite leathery, so go for the wild rocket. It also looks a lot nicer on the plate. So mix that all together. Um, then just before you're ready to serve, slice an avo up. Try cutting it into blocks instead of wedges. Oh, wow. Um, it just it will look nice on the plate. Um, <laughs> it's well, it's just master in terms chef of plating it. Um, Have you ever in tried to enter MasterChef, by the way? Oh, uh, no, I'm not allowed to. I'm too good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you qualified chefs aren't allowed to. Enter. No, you're not. You're not allowed to have formal training. So. Yeah, okay, sure. Sorry. So <laughs> before um, you've got all the greens, all the leaves in the bowl, and now you chop up an avo into, ch into chunks. Yeah, just cut it into squares. Try to keep everything sort of smaller, um, whereas the wedge would be much bigger than all the other pieces in the salad. <laughs> okay. Um, you're going to. Okay. Then take your fillet, once it's down to room temperature, slice it up, so nice thin slices. It's got, should be rare in the middle. Um, can cook it to medium, rare or medium. Just cook it a bit longer if you don't like it as red. Okay. Um, but when it's cool, it's actually quite nice to eat a small sort of... More um, Yeah, carpaccio-y. Um, okay. Carpaccio-y. <laughs> okay. More like a carpaccio, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so slice that up, lay it down on a platter, and then around that put your base salad, so your chickpeas your herb leaves and everything you got in the bowl and your avocado. Lay that around and then take your salsa, spoon that over the salad, and then the last thing you need to do is just crumb some feta on top of that. Ooh, very important ingredient. I would go with a traditional feta. It's harder, it's saltier, it's not as creamy. Um, I don't think you need the creaminess with this, but it will work. Um, but yeah, just crumble the feta over the top um, and salt and pepper, you're ready to go. Voila, it. that's it. But you've got all the key ingredients in that salad. Avo, very important in any salad. Yep. Feta, very important. And then to actually make it like a hearty meal, you've got fillet as well. So yeah. And the chickpeas also bulk it up and fill you up quite a bit. So it is quite a filling meal as well. That's a goodie. So there you have it. If you want a nice, heart, uh, nice um, healthy meal for maybe a Sunday lunch or even a weekday dinner, I think, yeah. um, you can... Follow Chef Simon's, what are we going to call it? The fillet salad. Man, fillet Fli man, man salad. salad. Okay, <laughs> fillet man salad. Um, I'll be tweeting the recipe and so will Balls Radio. So you'll be able to get the details and the quantities and the times for that salad um, on Twitter. Either Haley Owen SA or at Balls Radio. Awesome. Thanks, Simon. Thank you very much for having me. What are your plans this weekend? Um, I'm working, so I'll be at work. Okay. But otherwise, not much. Just relaxing in the evening. And so now you work one weekend on, one weekend Yeah, off. my brother and I own the restaurant. So it's uh, his weekend off this weekend. So I'll be working. Okay, well, maybe I'll relaxing. pop in to see you. Best Eggs Benedict in town. That's 2B Cuisine at Epsom Downs Shopping Center. Also great pizzas. Nice lunch and breakfast spot. Hey, you're, yeah. not, you're not open in the evening. We're not opening in the evening. Just breakfast, lunch, a lot of sandwiches and salads. Um yeah, everything's made on the premises, and um, yeah, we had a little bakery, make our own breads and pastries and things. Oh, and Simon's brought us in fresh croissants and fresh pies. pies yeah. Oh, so that diet's <laughs> gonna have to go out the week, out the window this weekend. But yeah, nice to have you in here. I'm, I'm such a foodie. Food excites me way too much. <laughs> I enjoy these features <laughs> like so much. We're gonna have to bring you in far more often. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will do with pleasure. It's, it's great being here. Okay, that's Chef Simon from 2B Cuisine at Epsom Downs chatting us to us about the beef fillet man salad. We'll be tweeting the recipe. The Haley O Show. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Only on balls.co.za.